she pays his bills? <laughs> Is he a gold digger? UDY. Let's fucking go, dude. We got a rare case of the reverse Saru baby daddy. I said baby daddy, sugar daddy. My apologies. So she's a sugar mama. Helping Wendy find out if her boyfriend is only with her because of her money. I pay for practically everything. I pay for his car note, his insurance, food, gas, you freaking name it. I'm practically his, like he's my dependent. Why are you funding his life? I care about him a lot and obviously I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. Wait. But I don't want this relationship to go any. Paying for his insurance? his car note not nah, insurance and car note is crazy she probably means car insurance Any further if he's not gonna be loyal we've come up with a plan to help wendy's boyfriend prove his loyalty this will be his chance to show her that he does love her and isn't only using her and doing things behind her back so if he passes this test then are you still willing to like fund his life like that the least this man could do is be loyal right but i think I think the bigger question is, will Wendy still be willing to fund a grown man's life if he passes this test? I hope you guys have your doggies for this one, because you guys already know. Bro, you gotta show us how he looks, bro. This gonna be good. Bro, he, he has to, you gotta show us how he looks, bro. Just made it to the home, setting everything up, making everything look good, waiting for everyone to arrive as well. When the time was right, Wendy would be leaving to get her boyfriend Jermaine. She would then bring him back to this home, under the impression that they were coming to a white elephant Christmas party that her co-workers were supposedly thrown. We're back. Is it gonna be her? If it's gonna be her, he's probably gonna fold because she's bad as fuck. Amongst the co-workers was our decoy Anna. She would be the one hitting on- Oh, yeah, never mind. Let me see. We're supposedly thrown. We're back. Amongst the co-workers was our decoy Anna. Oh, no. On it. She would be the one hitting on Jermaine and testing if he would stay loyal. So these guys are chilling here. Bro, we know Moob is pulling a loyalty test over there. <laughs> As the sun began to set, Wendy made her way to Jermaine. We finished setting everything up and everyone got into position. Wendy texted me when she was almost here and it was game time. Alrighty, guys, everybody in character. This is it. They will be here in five, ten minutes. You guys got this. I'm good. Here we go. Hey, how are you doing? It's good to see you. Hey, what's up, man? Good to see you. This is my boyfriend, Jermaine. What's your name? Jermaine. Jermaine? Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Here we go. They're here. They have arrived. Everyone's in here. Do you guys want a... Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good to see you. Do you, you. want a... Uh, good, 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 good. Toco Chico? Hi, Wendy. Toco Chico? What's up, brother? Muba. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Wendy walked in pretending to know some people and not knowing others. Remember, these are supposed to be her co-workers. Ooh, love the gifts. You, you want a seltzer? We got Christmas music going to make this thing believable. Hopefully this video doesn't get copyrighted though, but in case it does, give it a big thumbs up, please. She got some ass. The goal was now for Wendy to make her exit so that Anna could make her move. But first we had to let Jermaine enjoy the party. I feel like he's not gonna cheat. A little. Damn, why are they all by the kitchen? We literally thought they were gonna be hanging out more like outside or in the living room, but they're all literally in the kitchen. Why didn't we set that angle up a little bit better? Who's getting fired? Your friendship. So unfortunately, you guys are gonna have to picture Jermaine having a good time while tucked away in this blind spot here. He was truly enjoying himself. He was enjoying some snacks, some drinks, and his time getting to know everyone, including our decoy on it. Damn, this looks legit. <laughs> Eventually, people trickled outside to hang out. Jermaine finally left the kitchen, only for 10 minutes later to go back and hang out in this blind spot. Elias began hitting on Anna, but got rejected. Xavier and Shelby seemed to have hit it off. Muba began spitting some game, and Anna was digging him. Ken and Elias can sense this, so they walked away and cocked blocked Xavier. This music is making me forget that we're filming a loyalty joke. I say we go back to the suspenseful part. You guys, do you guys play um, beer pong or like any like party games or anything? Really? Dude, I brought some really cool like games to play. Uh, you want, you might, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually right there. You wanna help me set it up? Yeah. It was time for Wendy to make her exit. So we texted Muba to distract Jermaine. This game, it's like uh, it's like a life. I'm about to make a bet. You, know, you put the actual beer pong. Yo, let me make a, let me make a beverage. I'm sorry. Well, I'll show you actually. As planned, Muba asked Jermaine to help him set up some party games in the backyard. Uh, this way, this way, this way, this way. Sorry, I'm gonna go this way. Muba would lead him to the furthest side of the yard onto this patch of grass. From here, the inside of the home is hardly visible, allowing Wendy to make her exit. All right, here we go. Wendy's on her way. 
What is good? Now, what was visible from this patch of grass was this bedroom window, which is actually where we were. Well, you can hear everything. We had to be very careful not to raise any alarm that something other than a Christmas party was going on at this house. Hella nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, she like, ain't you scared, cause you ain't you teen. Okay, now let me ask you this. Did you get him the white elephant gift or did he end up getting it? I bought it. You bought it? Yeah. I made it easy for him so that he could just show up and that's it. So all we gotta do is like set him up as if- <laughs> yeah, basically, oh. dude. Yeah, yeah. Why was it that you wanted to put him to the test? Um, I am pretty much supporting this guy. I pay for practically everything. I pay for his car note, his insurance. Like, he's my dependent. Have you had a conversation with him? Like, I have, but he's like one of those that's like, oh, I'm going to invest in crypto. I want to invest in real estate. And, mm. you know, I get it. Like, have your dreams, but, like, mm. you got to pay the bills, too. I've known Wendy for a long time, man. <laughs> yeah. I've known her forever, man. They're like mutual, mutual friends. That's not even the worst part. He's like slowly trying to be sneaky and move into my house, but he's trying to be like smooth with it. He left his toothbrush first, and then he was like leaving his gym bag. He's like, oh, your house is near the gym that I go to. Then he was leaving some other clothes. If he really does want to get to that step in the yeah, relationship, how he got? He's got to get it. How he got a house though, or does he like? I doubt she would. She would. She's dating someone that lives live uh, live with their parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you play ball, bro. I don't play ball. I'm not good at it. Okay. Okay. So Jermaine is unemployed, broke, lazy, and trying to sneakily move in with his girlfriend. I Damn. know people like this, and frankly, I don't get them. How can you be broke, have someone else covering your bills, and not feel bad? This man needs to go get a job. He's perfectly healthy and able to be a productive member of society. I am baffled that Wendy even gave him the time of day. But I mean, hey, I guess love is blinding, right? I don't ask for much. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I'm like, the least you could do is just be loyal. So if he passes this test, then mm -hmm. are you still willing to like yo, fund his yo, life Laxo, like Yo, Laxo, do you, do you still want to uh, fix up the I Discord? Mean, yes or, and no. or Yes, I would like to room. help him, but like not forever. I'll give it like a good month if he passes this. One month. Oh, one month. It. Yeah. Let, but like that's crazy it. though. Let's, so let's basically, so basically, for those who's new, she she's paying all of her man's debt, like his insurance, car note, food. Like what? what this is all about. Muba asks Jermaine to set up one last party game with him before completing his role and taking him inside. Pizza and wings are actually So far, it doesn't way. feel yeah, scripted. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was now Ken's job to let Jermaine know that his girlfriend supposedly ran to the store to pick up a Christmas game that she really wanted everyone to play. Yeah, so she said she'd be right back. With Jermaine under the impression that his girlfriend's would be a while, Anna was now free to approach and ask him to play a game of Pong. Because we were busy out there playing, you know, so she probably... You guys, you guys did set up the beer pong outside, right? Yeah, yeah. it's actually pretty sick because the you buckets... Want to play? Yeah, let's play. Okay. Oh, uh, you guys are going to need the cups. Jermaine seemed a bit off-put by his girlfriend's leaving. Oh, he's in the bathroom. Anna low-key saved it, though, and he agreed to play with her. After taking a piss next door. Damn. After he emptied his tank, we were back in business. I've never played beer pong like this, so you're going to have to show me how to set it up and all this other stuff. So how are you doing this? All right, here we go. Game time. And just like that, we finally got our decoy and Jermaine by themselves. Additionally, we also provided Anna with a good 20 minutes before Wendy, quote-unquote, returns from the store. Plenty of time to make her move. Ladies first. Told you. Chug, 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 chug. All right, we don't got all day. Come on. <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't know. So you said that you don't need a phase two, phase three. Oh, no. Why? Why would I need a phase two or a phase three? It's black and white for me. Mm -hmm. Like. So you don't want to see, like, if he no, does something wrong with no, her, or if he actually goes through no. with it. That. That. I'm not there. Like, mm -hmm. he should be mentioning me. He should be like, I got a girlfriend. The end, point blank, period. What did you bring for the whole white elephant? You should find out when everybody else is. No, I want to know now. No, I think I'm supposed to tell you that. Just tell me. You're a sneaky little son, huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah. I've been told that one, once or twice. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, I guess. The duo plan makes small talk for what that mean? Is that is that California slang? You would trip? 
another five minutes before Anna proceeds to finally making her move. Since you don't want to tell me your gift, how about we help each other out for it? I want everyone to hear. How about we work together for, for the white elephant? We go signal to each other about which gift we want. Mm. You know it sounds good. Deal? You're funny. I mean, I could tell that. Sneaky, no. Yeah. No, I'm not. Hey, I'm not complaining. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I failed. Well, do you want to do this or not? You kind of giving me a little tempting offer over here, and you got your little body language all up next to me. And I'm trying to see what <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. An offer over here, and you got your little body language all up next to me. And I'm trying to see what's I mean, I'm just trying to see the presence. <laughs> so, what? You got it, man? No, I don't have it. He's black. Depending on how he talk, he's from Sacramento or just straight LA. But well, why are you asking? I'm just curious, I'm wondering. Well, why are you wondering? I can't find out. I'm a beautiful woman like yourself, I'm just trying to see you. But ah, uh, yeah. so but then it's like that. There's no way he's an actor. You right? Right? No way. You're just saying such generic things. Like, I don't know. But why are you asking us? What, what, why are you asking? What is the point of your, your question? You trying to get my number or something? Yeah. I might give it to you. I mean. Yeah, you sneaky as fuck. I see it already. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you're a little devil. Like a little devil on a person's shoulder. No. Like, no. I see it already. Nope. Can't make you do anything you don't want to. We're good, Jimmy. Just Oh, okay. I'm a sexy little devil, huh? Mm hmm I don't need to listen anymore. I got it. I'm, I'm done. I'm f***ing done. A thousand percent f***ing done. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like this right here, right? Okay. Go ahead and do me a favor. Go ahead and lock me. Okay. I'm gonna tell you this, though. I think you're cute and all, so I will give you my number, but I'm not a homewrecker. <laughs> homewrecker? Who said anything about that? It's not even that serious. It's not that serious? It's not, and I promise you that. Right? Okay. Damn. Here you go. This better not be no rejection hotline. Man. So you're just gonna do your girl like that, though? Yo, you gotta relax. You the one who came up to me. You want to play games, right? Yeah. Games, so you were trying to get okay. you want to see us from me, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I see you. I mean, I, like I said, I think you're kind of cute. Yeah, you know I'm like, It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Okay. That was pretty bad. That was pretty quick. Damn. I'm so embarrassed right now. So embarrassed. I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious to what? It's kind of loud in there, huh? I don't know what. Anyway, I don't okay. know. Here, can you, you sit down with me. Okay. You can sit down with daddy. <laughs> oh, with daddy now. Daddy? I'm, I'm ready to throw his piece of shit out. I'm gonna give him the gift. Everyone going to the kitchen may have given Jermaine the confidence to get comfortable with Anna. What the Idiot. He thinks you're gone for like 20, 40 minutes. Like that's mm -hmm. probably why he's getting all comfortable with her too. We prepared Wendy for a journey to her car. She would be retrieving a gift while I stayed behind to make sure a decoy was safe. How cold do you think that water is in that pool? I am definitely not trying to. Not? Now, why was Wendy getting a gift from her car? Well, because it was for Jermaine. So where are we, where are we gonna go? Where are you gonna take me? Cheesecake factory. That's cool. They have good avocado rolls. I haven't been there forever. We didn't want to take any chances, but once I got the sense that Anna was safe, I this nigga can't even pay for that shit. Texted Wendy to wait for me outside because I had to see this gift before it was given to Jermaine. Sorry. I wanted to see it. Damn, so this is it? You yeah. really ripped it, ripped it. It is all his clothes. All his if he left at my house is in here. 
Wendy knew this test could have a bad outcome and she wanted to be ready for it. She was ready to kick this man out of her house and her life in the craziest way possible. She didn't As need a phase two or a phase three. This man had bit the hand that was feeding him. Are you down to confront him with no cameras? I'm down. I feel like if you give him the gift and the cameras are there, he's gonna already know something's yeah. up and be thrown off. Yeah. So what if we stay back in the room and then if anything, you just like record it off my phone or something? Okay. Down for that? Yeah. Okay. And so with that, we shut off the Christmas music. We went back to hiding to not mess up Wendy's surprise. And we got ready for this one of a kind confrontation. I hope you guys have your talkies for this one because you guys already know. Jermaine. This is going to be good. Jermaine. Wait, what was that? That, that wasn't good. That's you. One. I don't think we should go together. Okay. Come here. Come here for a second. I got you something. You got me something? Yeah. Yeah, for you. Open it. I got you your gift first. I wanted you to open it in front of everyone. Aw, that's pretty nice. That's so sweet. That's sweet. That's cool. Oh, it does. Open it. Okay. I'm going to record this because it's something I'm going to want to remember. That's awkward. You're the only one being awkward right now. Just open it. Just. What is it? Quiet. What is it? Tell everyone. I'm, I'm What's going on? Show them what it is. Show them what it is. Show them what it is. Show them what the f this is. Show them what the f that is. What is it? What is it? You're a lying piece of <laughs> You're a lying son of a <laughs> mooching off me. Wait, you are you gonna fess up? Are you gonna tell everybody what the you just did? Or should I? Or should I? This loser asked for her number, was flirting with her. I'm gone for 20 minutes and this is what you do? I bought you that. So actually, the that I bought, give that no, no, back no, no. to me. See, no, 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 no. You're really tripping. You're tripping. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Bro, what the f is this? Are you? No. Wendy. No. Stop. Bro. Oh my. Yo. Get the f off. Where'd he go? He's walking out the side door. Oh my God. I don't see no tears, nigga. Is this real? Come on. I, I, was that enough? I don't think that was enough, bro. Should I follow him? You're, you're gonna let him go. You're gonna let him go. Now you know. But I feel like such a f idiot. You're not an idiot. You like, are not an idiot. You're not. Don't ever think that. Okay? Okay, this is real. This is real. This is real. <laughs> I mean, he just left. <laughs> hey, well, that's a first. <laughs> he just straight up left. <laughs> he just straight up left. Damn. <laughs> well, he's gone. Hey, so let me ask, who is Shelby to you? Uh, she's one of my friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? What's up? Oh uh, no, trying to give him the, you know, give me the eye earlier. Really? That's crazy, man. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you.
Today we're That was a good video. This right here, this is definitely real. Y'all let me know in the comment section, man. That shit was kind of fire. Y'all let me know if y'all y'all fuck with the anticipation of this video right here. I don't know. This is this was a good one right here. I ain't gonna lie. Thought it was none, got none for free. So you ain't getting none from me. I'm married to Dunham Dio for the fee. In the trash bar, pushing the pee. In the floor, see, dropping the jeans. 100 o'clock TP, geek on the beat. Yeah, like, those who don't hear this fam. I'm a son.